What in the world? We are pulling off the road to stop and get coffee, but I look over and I'm like, oh, that's funny. That building still has a Radio Shack sign on it. And then we look at it and it's like, it looks like it's still a Radio Shack. I think we might need to pull in there because we needed to get a picture with the last standing Radio Shack. I'm pretty sure that, look, it's got like a sign like Nebo. I think that's probably the new store. Really? But they left up the Radio Shack like signs oh, on the building. Okay, All right. Uh, that's time. amazing. It looks like it's like a pawn shop. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. Turn right. Because the, the sign said version. like printers and. Oh. Um, I guess Radio Shack might have those things. But I'm pretty yeah, sure Radio see. Shack is dead. Do you see the mountains and the clouds? It's really beautiful. Do you see our beautiful animals behind us? They're both ready for the road trip. We are <coughs> on our way. Wow. Bumpy. On our way back home. And we need to stop, grab some coffee, yeah. and I almost felt the need to point out, like, oh, look, that guy has a Maryland shirt on. But yeah, that makes sense. We're in Maryland. Well, we're actually in West Virginia right now. We just left Maryland. Oh, no, we're in Virginia. Ah. That's interesting. So. <coughs> can you hold the, um, can you hold them for a minute? Yeah. Because if we're going to stay here for a few oh, minutes. Oh. oh, Ollie's hearing the, oh boy. Sorry about the shaking, you guys. Sorry about it. Um, wow, it's crazy to think that's our last holiday trip, whether that's Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever. That's our last holiday. It's our last trip to Maryland. It's our last road trip to Maryland without our future child with us. Which is funny to say because Mary was saying this morning, like if I didn't know I would celebrate the last so much like the last trip to maryland without a baby and um <clears throat> the last thanksgiving without our baby and the last road trip to maryland without a car seat in our car and we're just so thankful i mean it's like one of those things where it's like i'm thankful to celebrate a last usually you celebrate firsts and we will we'll be like first road trip to maryland with our baby but it's also monumental to be like, this is the last one. Yes, we are so excited. <laughs> and we are not going to be traveling to Maryland for Christmas because we're expecting our little one to arrive around that time. So we are, so oh man. We'll be traveling to the state where the baby's going to be born. So we will not be in with our family for Christmas. Now we have been like, we were in Scotland during Christmas one year. So we did long distance Christmas. And then <clears throat> a couple years after that, you were, your health wasn't great. And so we had Christmas, a quiet Christmas at home and I was pastoring. And so yeah. I had, I think, I think that year, uh, Christmas was on a Sunday. And so, like with your health and my job, it was like we weren't able to get away. And then, and then last, last year, year we were home for Christmas because of the pandemic. And now a whole new adventure this year. We're super excited. But well, we just wanted to pop on here. We're traveling today. And so we're gonna upload this little video and just want to give you guys a little update. We had a great Thanksgiving. We'll give you some footage of that in tomorrow's vlog. And we're just really, really, I mean, I was reflecting this morning when I got up and was drinking my coffee and thinking about Thanksgiving and gratitude. And, and specifically, I was thinking about this idea of contentment and um, one of Mary's mantras in that really came out of her journey with CF and 
Uh, sometimes we talk like that journey's over, but um, like in kind of the hardest years of that, yeah. um, that all I have all I need in Jesus and just this where your soul finds rest and contentment. And as I think about Thanksgiving and gratitude, I'm just like filled with like, it's easy to think like, I'm grateful this year because things have changed and we're adopting a baby and all these good things. Yeah. And yet I'm, I'm grateful for <gasps> the journey that brought us to this point mm -hmm. and like the, the highs and lows of that. Yeah. Because I, I saw this quote this week um, that I thought was really, really good. It was, it said, I don't think I've told you this. It said, um, life is full of seasons and those seasons um, don't define us, mm -hmm. but they do shape us. Yep. And I thought that was just really well said because like the seasons of it, we've been through all kinds of seasons, even in the years that we've been here on YouTube. Yep. And like those seasons don't define us, but they have surely shaped us. Yep. And we are grateful for that. Yeah. And I think of Thanksgivings where I was in the hospital and we had to learn contentment in that. And our hearts were grateful and our hearts are grateful today, you know, in this season. And the, yeah, it's just that the journey is important. Yeah. And to not, to, to push against this idea of hostility against the hard parts of the journey yep. and to only embrace or celebrate the good parts. Yeah. And that is something I am grateful that life with cystic fibrosis has fostered an opportunity to learn that, mm -hmm. to learn that those seasons, while very difficult, were very valuable. They yeah. were our first eight years of marriage yeah, and there was the sad and bitter parts that felt really painful but even in the painful seasons that there was also beauty and there's beauty that's come out of those seasons mm -hmm. so holding both is important i think for sure and so yeah here's our little encouragement to you to, to I, I think as I was as you were saying that about like your journey like don't have hostility like don't despise the journey but sit in it and see how it's shaping you and it's okay to acknowledge the hard yeah to validate that that is hard yep and that feels bitter and and to sit in that mm -hmm. and then to also recognize the gifts of life and breath and mm -hmm. and the beauty yep. that's even amidst the storm sometimes mm. so if we could we would reach out and hug each and every one of you guys yeah. and the few times over the last seven and a half years where we get to meet you guys means so much to us so we are sending you guys a hug and as always we'll see you tomorrow see you tomorrow guys good night ollie can you say good night you guys ready to get on get back on the road all right we'll get some coffee we'll get back on the road bye guys